um, determine how to find the multiplicative inverse of specifically first a two by two matrix, okay? Because I approach a two by two matrix differently than I would approach a three by three or four by four. Again, multiplicative inverse has to be only for square matrices. And um, we said the determinant must not be zero. And if you don't know what that is yet, I will have another video talking about determinants later. But let's find the um, multiplicative inverse of a two by two matrix. So you're following this rule. Now this rule, it looks way worse than it is. What you're doing is you're taking the determinant of A, which if you don't know what that is yet, you're going A times D minus B times C, this times this minus this times this, one over the determinant, and then multiply by, we switch these two elements and we take the opposite of these. So here, let's do find A inverse, okay? Um, one over the determinant of A. So the determinant of A is six times one. So I go this way minus this way. Six, this product minus this product. So six minus six, because negative three times two is negative. So that's, okay, now times, I'll keep going and then I'll show you what happened there. Times, um, we switch these two and take the opposite of the other two, right? We switch these two and take the opposite of these. So when I'm doing the determinant, so technically it's one over the determinant of A, and then times, you know, you switch these two, and then um, take the opposite of the other two. Now, I said we can't find the inverse of a matrix if the determinant is not uh, is is zero, right? So the determinant must not be equal to zero for the for the inverse to exist. And this is the determinant zero here. And obviously, I can't do one over zero, which means that for this particular matrix, the determinant of A is zero, that cannot be true because of this part, which means that um, A inverse does not exist. There is no um, inverse of this matrix. We cannot find it. So not every square matrix has an inverse that exists. Um, let's look at this one, and I want to find the inverse of this matrix. So I'm going to do the same thing, one over the determinant of A. The determinant of A is this product minus this product. Let me see if this helps with colors. This product minus this product. Okay, so two times negative two is negative four <laughs> minus the green product, which is negative six. Okay. <laughs> If that helps. Technically, this is the determinant of matrix A. So 1 over this times this minus this times this. Okay, this product minus this product. Switch my two red guys. Take the opposite of my green guys. Switch my two red guys. So right, I switch them and take the opposite of the green guys. And obviously, in this case, I don't get 0 on the bottom, which means that the determinant of A here is not equal to 0, which means that the inverse exists and we can find it. So let's keep going. One over, this is negative four plus six, so one half times this matrix. So now I have a scalar times a matrix, so that has to go into the matrix. So let's do eight inverse is equal to, um, one half times negative two is negative one, one half times six is three, um, one half times negative one is negative one half, and one half times two is one. And this is the inverse of matrix A. Now, you can always check and make sure that the inverse, this inverse is proper um, because the product, right, has to be equal to the identity matrix, two by two, and in both directions. If these two are true, then they are, in fact, inverses. So you can always check if you want to to make sure that you got the right inverse. So that's how we do an inverse of a two by two. One over the determinant times you know, switch these, take the opposite of these. So determinant, this times this minus this times this. Switch these, take the opposite of these. 